But it's going to be in here with me? Good morning, everybody. Okay, come here. Welcome. It's Saturday. As always, it's chaotic over here. So this is going to be your body weight pyramid burn workout. So all body weight moves, you don't need any equipment at all. As always, I will give you a lot of different options. No, can you leave that on, buddy, please? Uh-uh, turn it back on. Anyway, turn it back on, turn it back on. thank you. <laughs> That's my fan. I need that. It's going to be 115 degrees here in um, California. Uh, I don't know what it's like where you are, but uh, no equipment needed. I will give you lots of different options. We're going to work for strength and cardio, getting your heart rate up and pyramid format. So going up the pyramid, down the pyramid, 15 seconds, 30, 45, back down 30, oh, 45, 30, 15. You get 15 seconds of rest in between. Don't worry, I'll tell you all of that again. So if you're just joining, you don't need any equipment, just some space. Can you get that, please? I got that over there, and I got the spider behind Oh, good, okay. <laughs> He's been hunting down a spider. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and get started in just a minute. So, at, for okay, bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> uh, somebody last week was like, oh, they always go right with your husband. And I'm like, well, we bribe them with TV. Um, so anyway, we're going to get started in just a second. You don't need any equipment, just some space. I'm going to give you different options, different modifications for your fitness level or whatever reason you need to modify. And I will also include prenatal and early postpartum. So if you're just getting back into exercise after having a baby, no matter when that is, and also if you think or know that you have ab separation, diastasis recti, I will give you those options um, and I will try to cue you for that. But above all, modify if you need to. There is no shame in modifying. You're still gonna get a great workout. And just like all of my other live workouts, at the end of the workout today, I will take a few minutes and if you guys wanna put any questions in the chat bar, um, it's always a good idea to wait till the end so I don't have to scroll back through, but you can put some questions there. I'll try to answer. I'll take five minutes and say hello and answer any questions that you might have. So thank you for joining and let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you have a little bit of space. Go ahead and March it out right here. Roll those shoulders. Whew, there we go. Yes, to the back and to the front. Just getting our muscles warm and breathing. You can jog it if that feels better for you or march. Whatever feels good for you, getting everything warm and ready to go. And let's start just swinging those arms to the sides, over and under, and then up and down. You can even add a little hinge right through here. Right, and breathe. And then tap it out, reach across. So again, body weight, pyramid, burn, we're gonna get everything working full body for strength, for cardio, getting the heart pumping and getting those muscles burning, right? Let's go ahead, do a little gentle knee pull into your chest. That feels okay for you, arms out wide. So the way it is gonna work is we are going to do some superset pyramids. So the first one be a little more lower body focused, second a little more upper, and then some core, and then we'll put it all together, right? We're gonna go about 35 minutes, hamstrings to the back. Let's do a little squat, roll through that hip. So that will mean that things are gonna burn when we're doing back-to-back -back exercises, what we call a superset. You're gonna feel it a little bit more, but you can do it. So push through, remember that pyramid, we're going up. So pyramid format, tap it out, up the pyramid, 
down the pyramid. You just tap, keep your heart rate going. So 15 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of rest, 30 seconds, 45, 45, 30, 15. So they each have a 15 second breather in between. So total, that's only about three minutes of work. So you can push through, but it's going to burn. Then we'll get about one minute in between each pyramid where I explain our next two moves. That's where you can grab water, take a real break, or you can keep moving, jog it out, tap it out, whatever you need to do. Speaking of water, make sure you grab a sip before I'm gonna talk you through our first two moves. So this is our lower body superset. So we're going to do a squat close and then take it back in that transverse side lunge. So maybe bring that heel up, touch down if you can. Squat, transverse, which is on the diagonal, side lunge, okay? You can get low, you can keep it higher, but squat in the middle, step it back on the diagonal, transverse, really get into that hip. Your second one, your modification, two legs, deadlift, reach it back, lunge, deadlift, hinge at the hips, reach it back. If you can, we're gonna take it one leg, then same leg back, lunge, and then switch here and here. Are you ready? We'll talk through those as we go. Starting 15 seconds, here we go. Squat, join me here. Transverse. Squat it down. Transverse. It's only 15, so we're not gonna get through very many on this one. Drop it low, last one. Good, that was your first circuit. That first one's gonna go quick. Tap it out for 15 seconds. Deadlift either two legs or one. Alternate your lunge. Zip up that core, everything's in tight. Here we go. So two legs that you want, just a hinge, and then lunge it back. Hinge, lunge it back. Or one down, same leg goes back. One leg, deadlift, and then drop it down. You can actually tap that foot down in between to give you a little bit of balance. Here we go. And breathe. So keep it going, five seconds, four, three, two, 15 seconds to breathe. We're at the top of that pyramid. So catch your breath. We got 45 seconds of that squat and that transverse. Wherever you are, get low, get high, here we go. Squat it down, drop it back, transverse. Squat it down, drop it back. You can keep it a little higher, regular squat, and then transverse or if you can, touch the ground, touch the ground, lean into that hip, Whoo! little bit of balance, right? You got about 15 seconds to go, breathe, keep it going, legs should be burning a bit, I hope, get low, and drop, ah, it throws your balance a bit, right? Three, two, one, relax. Tap it out for 15 seconds. And then same thing, we are staying up top. Hinge with two legs or one and into that lunge. So hinge, deadlift, here we go. So two legs if you want, little hinge, drop it in a lunge. Yes. 10 seconds, can you get one more of each, either together, or separate, yes, relax. How are those legs feeling? We are making our way down that pyramid now. One more 30 seconds, one more 15. So we got 30 seconds, squat it down, and reverse into, here we go. Squat, transverse, squat, transverse. There we go and back, drop it low, open on that diagonal, breathe, yes, 10 seconds to go, can you get one more each side, last one, relax, breathe for 15, our last 15 seconds is that hinge deadlift, whatever you got, work those legs, Hopefully your heart is pumping as well. 
Zip up in that core, good posture. Here we go. Two legs, ah, or one. Breathe. Take it down. Drop it low. Yes. Last one. Good. Shake it out. Ooh, my balance is off today. Little stretch in those hamstrings if you need it. Catch your breath. Let's grab a quick sip of water. Good work, team. Go ahead and shake out those legs. And then we're going to take a little bit more than a minute. So shake it out or jog it out, whatever you want to do to keep that heart rate up. If you want to take it to those side lunges, since we just did that transverse, that's a good interval move if you want to take it in between. Okay, so upper body. We're going to take it all the way down. Watch me. Modification on your knees. You're going to stay in all fours, quadruped. Three, two, one. It's a pulse and then a bird dog. Three, two, one. Pulse, bird dog. If you can, knees or toes, regular push up. Three, two, one. One, Superman. Up, three, two, one, Superman or Superwoman. So you get the push and the pull. Our second move, we're gonna do three punches and two jacks, four punches. So let's go jabs, four, three, two, one. You can go low impact jack. And then uppers, four, three, two, one, two jacks like this. Got it? All right, so just to review, that first move, we're going with that, those pulses, three, two, one, and then lift up in that Superman. If you need to, stay on the knees, bird dog, pulses, bird dog. Our second move is gonna be those four punches, two jacks, low impact or high. All right, so let's go ahead, bring it on down, zip up in that core, take it down to here, 15 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, Little lift, bring it up. Three, two, slowly down, lift, and up. Can you get two more? Three, two, one, lift, and pulses. Yes, stretch it back, good. Bring it up to your feet, catch your breath. You got four jabs, two jacks, either low impact or high, four uppers, ready. Here we go, straight on, four, three, two, one, jacks, uppers, four, three, two, one, 30 seconds, Woo. there we go, uppers, you can go low impact, up to you, four, three, two, one, strong jacks, uppers, four, three, two, one, one more, and relax, good, 15 seconds to breathe, take it back down. We're back down into that push-up position. Push-up pulse for three. You got your bird dog for modification, your Superman starting. Here we go. Modified on your knees. Three, two, one. Bird dog. Three, two, core still engaged or to those knees with me here. Three, two, one, and lift. Use your core, bring it up. Three, two, one, and lift. Totally fine if you're strong enough to be up on those toes. Hard for my shoulder there, so I'm gonna stay on knees. Bring it up, keep it going. Three, 10 seconds. Don't forget about that core staying engaged, especially right here. Three, two, one, lift. Last one, pulses, stretch. Good, what I mean is not letting those hips drop as you come out of it. Bring it up, guys. Staying up top, 45 seconds of those punches, strong punches, jacks, low impact or high. Here we go. Jab, 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 low impact is here. Uppers, upper, 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 low impact or high. Jacks, jacks, uppers, jacks. Here we go, jabs, shh, 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 jacks, uppers. You got 15 seconds to go. 
Whatever you got, make them good. We got strong arms through the back, through the shoulders, then cardio. One more. And breathe, good. Relax, let's take it back down. Going back down our pyramid. Here we go, last 30 seconds, push up and lift whatever you got. Here we go. So modified here, quadruped push up and reach. And reach or take it down. And lift and up. 10 seconds. What do you got? Low on that push up if you can. Last one. And lift and up, stretch it back. 15 seconds is all we got in this round. How many times can you get those punches, those two jacks, finish it out strong? Here we go. Jab, 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 jacks. Uppers. Jacks. Jab, strong arms. And uppers. Yes, one more. And relax. You know, I always like to go a little bit over on that last 15 seconds. Tap it out and breathe. Roll those shoulders, stretch out those arms. That was your upper body burn superset circuit. So hopefully you're feeling it a little bit. You got slightly over a minute to catch your breath. Let's grab some water. Bend your knees to get it. All right, team. So you can job it out, tap it out. Or if you want, just keep some punches going or just some jacks or together, whatever you want. I'm gonna go through our next two moves. Core circuit with a little bit of cardio. Here's your cardio. Shuffle, we're gonna shuffle for two. Tap the knee. This is your modification. If you can, I want you to really twist it across. Three, two, one. My pregnant mamas or newly postpartum or DR, I don't want you to do too much of that twist. You just bring hand to knee. Everybody else, try to cross elbow to knee. Low impact shuffle or quick feet, up to you. Your second move, you're taking it all the way down. On your side, roll it back. You're gonna do one bridge, one crunch. Modification, I just want you to stay in that, that bridge the whole time connecting with the core. But if you can, lift it up, and then everything in really tight, elbows to knees. All right, so one's a little more cardio-based, and then we're gonna take it down quickly to the mat. We're gonna switch pretty quick. So, think about your posture coming up and down. Zip up that core, we're going this way first. Hands behind your head. Here we go, 15 seconds. Shuffle, cross, shuffle, cross. Low impact, you're just big step, tap. Big step, tap. Five seconds. Get low, cross it strong, relax. Bring it down slowly. On your side first, roll onto your back. Modification, stay in that bridge the whole time, connect with the core. Everybody else, one bridge, one tight crunch. Bridge, and here, 30 seconds. Lift it strong, and here. Bring it up, everything in. Exhale, inhale, good, keep it going. 10 seconds to go. Really think nice and tight. Everything's coming together, especially on that crunch. Three, two, one. Relax, bring it up. At the top of that pyramid, 45 seconds. Slow shuffle and knee or quick. Cross it, whatever you got. 45 seconds, top of the pyramid. Here we go. Shuffle and knee, sidestep and knee. Modification, you're just here. Just tap without a lot of twist or shuffle, cross. Really twist into it, getting that core. Stay low, cross it strong. Elbow to knee, in your core. 
15 seconds, getting that heart pumping, because you know you got a breather on the mat. 10 to go. Side lateral movement, so important in our workouts. Last one, and breathe. Slowly take it down on your side. We got one more round of 45 seconds. Zip up in that core. Modification, just your bridge. Here we go, take off everybody. One bridge is your modification. Just bring everything in with that core, slowly down. In or add that crunch. One bridge, tight crunch. Lift it up, up and in. Really strong with both. Connecting with the core on both. And in, yes. Lift it up. Breathe. 10 seconds. Wherever you are. In. Last three, two, one. Relax. Good. Bring it up. Whew. How are we doing, team? Good, I hope. We're making our way back down that pyramid. One more. 30 seconds with our shuffle, with our cross knee. Here we go. Shuffle, tap, side step and tap. Join me if you haven't already. Cross it. 15 seconds. Low to high. Core strong. Yes. Three, two, and one. Tap. Slowly back down. Last 15. Bring it down to here. Just your bridge or one bridge, one crunch, and go. Bridge. Bridge and crunch. Lift. Lift. You got one more. Let's sneak it in. Going over time. And relax. Stretch out those hamstrings. Get a little stretch here. Bring it up slowly. Grab a sip of water. Whew. Good work, team. We are making our way huh, through this workout. All right, guys. So you can just tap it out and breathe if you want little taps of the knees or if you want to keep the cardio going and keep that core working if you can twist take it there all right so watch me here every putting everything together we're here modification you're just going down on the elbows pop it up walk the feet in walk the feet in walk the knee back down on the elbows or you can just keep that tricep push from the knees the whole time. Everybody else, if you can, drop it down, pop it up to bear plank, pop it up to squat, pop it back to bear plank, slowly on the elbows. Big push tries and core, legs. Any variation of that works. If you wanna walk it in without the jump, if you wanna do it without the bear plank, up to you. Then we're taking it, curtsy lunge, cross it over, Fold it over for your back, back in and here. Watch me here. Cross, fold, up and up. Don't worry too much about that. We just want the hinge to work the back into the curtsy. Are we ready? Bring it down. You got 15 seconds. Here we go. Tries, up, pop, pop, down. Here we go. Five seconds. Good, relax. So I want you to really think about pushing up through the triceps on that, even though your legs and core are working, getting it all together. All right, crossing in the curtsy, folding it over for your back, bring it up and switch. Here we go. Cross, fold, push out. Hands up the whole time. We're trying to really get the back pulling back. Here. I know it looks a little weird. 
If that bothers your knees, you can do regular lunge. You can take it here and up. If you can, get that curtsy. Playing with our balance, I know. And breathe. Yes, relax. Good, we're at the top of that pyramid. Bring it down. Remember your options. I'm gonna go through them with you too. You can just stay here, tricep push up. You can walk it up. You can pop it up. Here we go. Modification. Go ahead and join me. Just push up, core's engaged, pushing up through those triceps. Or bring it up, walk it up, walk it back to the knees, drop it down. Or keep it going, add that bear plank. Push up, walk it in or jump it in, walk it back. Here, here, 10 seconds. And down, up. Can you get one more? Last one. And relax. I know you feel your legs the most, but lots of tries working on that as well. Whew. Let's bring it up. Curtsy lunge or regular lunge. Fold it over for the back, whatever feels comfortable for you. Here we go. So modification, regular lunge, fold, and up. You can be here. Just a little bit of back, pulling back in those shoulders. If you can, curtsy, fold, and up. Cross, and up. Cross, yes, 15 seconds. I know it's harder than it looks to keep those arms up, right? I'm hoping you're feeling your back, feeling that pull. We get a lot of push in these body weight workouts. So I'm always trying to figure out how to get that pull in, right? And relax, Whew. feel those arms, right? Working our way back down, 30 seconds, knees to pop up, really focus on those triceps doing the work as you push it up. Engage the core, pop it up. Here we go for 30. Up, walk it in, walk it back or jump it. Core, legs, and down. Yes. This one's really full body, right? Up, you got five seconds. What do you got? One more triceps and relax 15 seconds with that curtsy and that fold then we'll breathe it out Whew. and we're down to that last circuit ready here we go 15 cross fold squeeze in the shoulder blades bring it up cross fold nice and slow we're not trying to make this a speed skater we want it very precise your muscles are working your heart's gonna get up. Whew. Relax, yes, yeah, shake that out. Grab some water. How are we doing, team? Are you feeling it? I hope so. Are you a little out of breath like me? I hope so. Okay, you got about a minute, a little more to breathe. Again, you can tap it out, or if we wanna keep it going, now we could take it to that skater, low or high, it's up to you. If you want more cardio, just keep it here. Keep those legs working, drop it down. Everything's gonna be down on the mat. So we're here. We're in that reverse bridge or reverse plank. This is safe for everybody, but do what feels best for you. Palms are facing in. I'm gonna use my upper body and my core and my legs to lift all the way up. If you can, you can just stay here just up and down, or if you're able, walk those feet out, walk those feet in, drop it down. So we're gonna get a lot of tight hamstrings on that, a lot of core, a lot of triceps and back, right? Then let's turn it over into our mountain climber. Modification, guys. We're just tapping it back and here. Tap it back and here, or take it here, and we're just gonna take it in. One, two, hold, 
one, two, hold, or run it, hold, one, two, hold. When you hold it, try to get that foot off the ground. All right, are we ready? Woo! Sorry, take it back down. Reverse bridge, 15 seconds. Here we go. Take it up and down if you want, or lift, walk the feet out, keep looking at that ceiling, walk them in, hips up and down. Lift, out, out, and down. One more. I know, we went over and relax. Stretch out those hamstrings, right? Flip it over into that mountain climber. Walk it back, 30 seconds. Here we go. So just tap and tap, or walk it in. One, two, three, and hold, or run it. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Hold. Yes. 10 seconds. Whatever you got. One, two, hold. Three, two, one. Relax. Good. Stand down here. We're at the top of that pyramid. 45 seconds. You got all your options. Zip up in the core either way. Ready? Joining me in three, two, take off. Modification, just lift it up, open up the chest, connect with the core, bring it down slow. Lift it up, bring it down slow. Everybody else, if you can, up, walk it out. Walk it in, keep those hips up. You're trying to keep that slow. I know it's tempting to do what I just did. Try to keep it slow. So you really have to keep the core working, keep those hamstrings working, keep those hips up, drop it down. 10 seconds to go. You got it. You can just be here. If that's better for you, we're still getting everything working. Last one. And relax, I know. Stretch it out here. Staying at that top, 45 seconds into that mountain climber. So take your time getting into it. I'll show you all your options again, but you know them. Ready, here we go. Modification, just tap it back one at a time. Whatever pace you want, keeping the core engaged. Or bring it up, tap it in one, two, hold. Tap one, two, hold. Or run it, three, two, hold. Hold. Nice and strong. Get that knee into your chest. Breathe. So when you're holding, you're really getting it in as tightly as you can. 10 seconds to go. Here we go. Last one. Yes. Relax. Who felt that core? I know I did. One more of each. We are so close, you guys. Let's take it here. Open up that chest. You got 30 seconds. Roll those wrists. Here we go. Up and down or up. Walk it out. Walk it in. Drop it down. I know that's challenging. Keep the core engaged. And down. Take it up and walk in and down. It's hard to keep those hips up, right? Five seconds. Good. Last one. And relax. Ooh, stretch it over. 15 seconds left in this round. Mountain climbers, whatever you got on your knees, walking it in, running it in. Here we go. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. Yes, keep it going strong. Two more. Yes, relax, stretch it back, and breathe. Open up your chest, I know. Roll those wrists and breathe. Ha, good work, team. Ha, technically, that was our last round. You know I like to add a bonus move. 
We just got a ton of cardio on that mountain climber, so we don't need that. But let's get some obliques. Let's take it to a side plank. All right, team, a few options. We're just gonna get this in fast, and then we are done. On your knee, lift knee in and down, or just lift, that works, or up knee in and down. Whatever you got, finish it strong, 30 seconds each side, zip up that core, here we go. Up, in, and down, or knee. So it's a front crunch with that side plank. Breathe, or up. Still probably gonna get that heart rate up, even though we're moving slow and controlled. Get that hip off the ground, keep that core engaged, five seconds and breathe last one and relax stretch it out swing those legs around let's get that other side finish out strong with our core knees or toes here we go for 30 lift knee and down up and down or all the way up Keeping that foot crossed in front, I think just gives you that space. So up to you. 10 seconds to go. Lift that hip and breathe. Last one. Up and relax. You did it. Stretch those over side to side and breathe knees out to the side whatever is comfortable for you ha ah, relax those shoulders lean over into it ha ah, open up those hips good work you guys you know that's a lot and that pyramid format moves quickly which is what we love about it kind of like Tabata flex that foot fold it over if that feels good for you even if you're here or if you're here Breathe into it. Whew. And bring it up. Let's go other side, of course. Get more of that stretch and cool down on your own if you can. And breathe. Good. Sit back into your hips. Child's pose. And breathe. And all the way up. Roll through your back a couple times, cat to cow. And if it is comfortable for you, you can just put one foot back, one knee forward, just lean into it here. Or you can even turn it into that pigeon stretch. Whatever feels good for you. I know that's hard to get into, so if you want to stay in that child's pose, that is fine too. Make sure that you check out all of my other videos. I have a whole playlist of all no equipment required workouts, a lot like this, boot camp style, Pilates, cardio. Switch your side. So again, you can stay in child's pose if you want, push it back to here or turn it in. And then of course I have tons of other dumbbells, kettlebells, TRX, bands, balls, prenatal, postnatal. And breathe. And take it here. Woo. Let's get those arms really quick. And of course, if you are looking for a little more structure to go along with these videos, if you want more of a schedule, check out my eBooks and programs. I will put the link in the description below and you can find those tons of different options in time and equipment, just a more curated schedule to go along with these videos. If that's what you're looking for, depending on what your goals are. Now let's take it up top over to the side as well as check out my nutrition guide it's not a diet plan it's a very practical build your own plate nutritionally balanced plan uh, nothing is off limits no counting calories none of that just practical healthy eating Whew. thank you so much for showing up here with me today one big deep breath in
Don't forget to like and subscribe and out. That helps me out. Please hit that subscribe button. Then I can keep making completely free workouts for you here today. One more time and out. You did it. That was your body weight pyramid burn workout. Great job, everybody. Whew. Good work, team. All right, let me grab my computer. So sorry about the little interruption. I'm not sure what happened, but we got it figured out. All right, guys, Whew. it is hot in here today. All right, Olivia is doing her first workout in more than a year. Good work, Olivia, yay. All right, Michael and his wife have done kettlebell for a long time, for two years. Oh, yay, and now uh, I'm assuming that means your wife is pregnant. Congratulations. Yay, all right, guys, so when is the next one? We're gonna try to keep up these Saturday workouts, and we have been doing a few here and there on Wednesday. Be sure that you follow me on social media at BodyFit by Amy, and also I post it here, so that is where I post them, but we're typically trying to keep the Saturday time Hey, Aaron and Lisa and Sarah. Oh, hey, Becky. Yay. Uh, Becky had to modify. She just ate lunch. That's okay. Um, what's the rule with eating and exercising? Honestly, it's all about how you feel. Sometimes I'm rushing in to film something and I have to eat right before and I'm okay. Other people can't do that. Same thing with eating uh, before a workout. Some people can wake up in the morning and do a workout on an empty stomach. A lot of people cannot, I'm not one of those people, and you feel a little lightheaded or dizzy, sometimes nauseous. So in general, if you can get something in your system before a workout within like an hour, half hour, that's sort of best case scenario, but everybody is different. So just go by how you feel. Um, all right, so awesome. Hassan, what's a recommendation for running shoes for men? So, um, you know, again, it depends on what your feet are like. If you pronate, if you supinate, if you have a high arch or a low arch, it's kind of hard right now in COVID times, but if you're able to find a running store where you can get fitted, um, for running, I really like New Balance and Mizuno. Um, that's not sponsored or anything. Those are just my favorites for that. Um, for cross training, as you know, I wear a lot of Nikes. Um, but I, they tend to have more support, but if you're not someone who needs a lot of extra support, you may have to try a couple different things. So, um, New Balance makes, I mean, their specialty I would say is, is running. So that's a good one. Um, and I would say for all of your workouts, if you can invest in a good pair, I know it's tempting to just get whatever is cheapest, but you really want to get that support when you're running, um, depending on what your feet need. Let's see. Claire says it moved really fast. Yay, first live workout. Hey, Melanie, so glad you're here. Yes, oh, you just figured out, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the general rule I would say is with running with cardio, if you need more support, you should have it with your strength training. Um, we've actually found that sometimes people are getting too much support, so that's why, you know, we do yoga and Pilates and things like that barefoot so we can strengthen our feet. If you feel comfortable working out barefoot and it's a good space in your house, that's totally fine too. I know it feels weird to say that, but it all depends again on how your joints feel, how your feet feel. Um, but for the strength training, for your general where you're not bouncing up and down or running, um, sometimes less support is better. So you get, uh, you know, like these are like what we call like a flexible sole, right? These are called APL, um, but they're similar to Nikes. So you get a little less support for strength training. But if I were to go running outside on the hard pavement the whole time, I want a little more support. So reverse bridge on your elbow. Yes, you can. So a reverse bridge or reverse plank, you can also do it. Yeah, from here, that would be totally fine. Um, I know that these no equipment workouts end up being a lot on your wrist. So you could also just take it down and do a regular bridge on your back. You just take the upper body out of it, but that's okay. Jill, uh, is it true not eating before exercise your body will burn fat instead of carbs? No, that is not true. Don't buy into that stuff, guys. So your body burns through carbs first. That's why we need them for fuel. Um, that is why sometimes things like keto or a high protein diet, no carb diet 
will burn fat, but it is not always sustainable for everybody. So I caution against things like that. Carbs are not bad. Carbs are good for you. You just want the right kind. So, but no, if you, if you eat, if you work out on an empty stomach, what is more likely to happen is that you won't have enough energy to get the most out of that workout. So I would caution against that, unless again, you're one of those people and you feel fine. But if I work out on an empty stomach, I feel sluggish, I get a little dizzy, I can't go as hard. So that works against me, right? Then I'm burning less calories and fat and getting less work, right? So don't believe that kind of stuff. Um, listen, when you're working out, you're gonna be burning through it all and you're gonna be strengthening and you're gonna be toning. And I want you to focus less on burning fat I know that's the key term that everybody looks for and more about getting strong, getting healthy, but the rest of that is gonna happen. Okay, so let's see. Dana, your podiatrist says two pairs of running shoes into alternate shoes. Um, yeah, that actually makes a big difference. And I would say if you, again, depending on your budget, if you can afford it, have one shoe that you use inside for your strength training and another shoe that you use outside for your running. And even if you were able to, I have a separate pair of shoes for hiking because they get really dirty. Um, but again, I know everybody's different in their budget and what they can get. So <laughs> Melanie, shout out to carbs, yes. And uh, other deadlift variations, I do single legs and two legs. There's tons of deadlift variations. You can also do sumo or plie with your toes out. You're here. You can do it here. So let's say we have dumbbells or a kettlebell weights. You can do staggered, which we do sometimes. A million different ways. You're just thinking about that hinge rather than the squat. You can also put your foot up on something and do what we call a Bulgarian. Tons of options. Deadlifts are really functional because we're picking up stuff off the ground, right? Like my kids. Okay guys, let's see if there's anything else. Yes, Lisa, that's good advice about um, knowing, you know, kind of figuring out what you can eat before different types of workouts. Sometimes it's just trial and error. Awesome, guys. Is this a cardio or everything workout? An everything workout. I would say, generally speaking, um, most of my workouts, we are trying to get everything in, with the exception of some Pilates and yoga and things like that where our heart rates don't get up as high. Most of the workouts, we're gonna to try to get it all in. You know me, I believe we can get it all in in 30 minutes or 35 or 40 or sometimes 20. Uh, but the goal is to get your heart rate up with cardio, get all of the strength in, get everything working. Who has time to spend hours every day? I know I don't. So this is an everything workout. Most of these full body workouts are. So, um, yay, Norma, first time she's working out in a few years, busy mom, yes. All right, guys, so thank you so much for showing up today. We will be doing this again. Make sure that you subscribe. Again, so many of you asked me, how can I help uh, for me to keep making free videos? Subscribe, tell your friends, share all of that. Make sure you follow me on social media so you know when I'm doing this, and I will see you next time. Thank you.